Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play of Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. My name is Flies Bird. This is your Starbase Gaming Channel, and we're getting started off by finding a bunch of roly bullies. <laughs> Which explode! Killing themselves! Okay, I'm not going to question this. I'm just going to take it as a gift. Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> in case you're wondering, no, I have not gone and grinded anywhere just yet. I am thinking about it. Okay, so we don't want to hit the black one or they all counter. And that just took all our mana. Okay. That's problematic. Oh uh, yeah, so we just started here. The only problem though is I forgot to use I forgot to use a shelter outside. I forgot to hit the end. Um, so all our MP is down. So what I'll probably do is we'll fight this fight. Then we'll leave. Uh, then we'll heal up. And then we'll come back here. And try this again. <laughs> For now, let's see if we can get through this fight. These guys are really, really tough. Yeah, one thing we'll definitely have to do is definitely grind at some point. Uh, especially when it comes to like things like tech points because Glenn has absolutely no tech points and he's about to die So what's the best place to grind for tech points is probably the uh, What was it uh, the medieval ages? No, not medieval um, The time period of zeal uh, because in the time period of zeal we had Um, we had those uh, slasher guys that give like 16 TP per per uh, victory. Uh, and that really, really helps out a lot. So if we go and fight those slasher guys, uh, we should be able to get a lot of TP very quickly. Although I don't want to do it yet. And the reason I don't want to do it yet is just because I'm kind of hoping uh, we can make a little bit more advancement first. Uh, before we need to feel like we need to grind something and that's just Something I'm really really hoping on if we can I wonder if we can fight all four of these guys at once. Yes, we can you know how dumb an idea this is Probably really dumb unless that thing explodes and like hits all of his friends again Well at least antipode hits everything Although I should be ready for a heal because I have a feeling we're going to this is going to hurt us a little bit There's a counter. Marl probably needs it the most. Marl gets mana drained. Wow, they really like to pick on Marl. Why is that? That is so weird. Okay, I'm, I am I gotta say, that is the weirdest animation I think I've ever seen. Uh, he, just, he basically sticks out his stomach. And he like slurps someone. <laughs> All right, that went very well, actually. Yeah, that, that went really, really well. Uh, we do need to heal, though. Slurp. 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 Okay, what's over here? Over there is another way to go, and then we have an entrance up here. Let's go up the entrance first. Oh boy. Are both of them... Uh, we got attacked by both of them. That's not good. How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a wonderfully fantastic day. I was told quite a lot of information from Enter Zero about uh, places that we should go next after this and things to watch out for. Uh, things like the Rose, for example, is something that happens uh, later on. And it's actually a missable story sequence. So it's kind of a good thing that we got it when we did. And it wasn't so bad. It was a, it was a nice trek. At the same time, we also know that we can go down there for tech point uh, grinding. Which is something, like I said, that we'll definitely have to do very soon. Man. I just can't get over how tough the enemies in this game actually are.
Because it shouldn't take two antipodes to kill one basic enemy, in my opinion. Okay. Got four tech points. Uh, we learned Braveheart and Venomous. Along with the dual tech that I accidentally clicked too fast on. Okay, let's uh, first use one ether on Marl. Then let's go to our tech screen. And let's heal up. Weirdly enough, you learned two techs at once. You learned Braveheart and Venomist. Uh, attack bows with Poison Mist. Uh, you also learned Heal. Um, it says Restore Allies HP. Although the Allies, the, the, um, the apostrophe is at the end of the S, so I think that's a single target heal. You also learned Ice Water. Attack enemies with Ice Water. That's cool. It's good that we have a double tech with those two. Oh, hello. I like how I ignore the guy and I go right for the chest. <laughs> All right, we got a fused plate, which is much better defense for uh, Glenn. Ugh. He has the same injuries. You're mid tomic of course. Oh, the dots. Ugh, Sir Glenn, what a surprise. I'm Samuel. I was doing reconnaissance and... Well, Samuel, thou shouldst seek medical attention. I will take care from here. And let you have all the fun? No way, let's go. Please don't get yourself killed. I mean, these guys are not jokes. They are... Did you just knock all these guys out? Ah, you just knocked them all out. Dude, I want I want this guy on my party. We got a rage band. 50% counterattack rates. Hmm. That could be useful. That could also be useful. Um... Uh, I think I'll stick with the power glove for now. So that was totally worth the mid tonic. Absolutely worth it. Uh, just try to avoid these guys for now. I mean, every single we fight, every single fight we fight depletes our resources. So fighting these guys is something that I would like to try to avoid, which I was not able to. That was dumb. Oh no, that was good. Oh. Wait, so if you attack the black one with physical of power, he counters everyone. But if you attack someone that's not him, like a group attack like that, he hits everyone. Oh, okay. I think I see how that works now. Ow. Can we kill this thing, please, before he hits us again? I mean, come on. He's got hit by so much. Are you kidding me? He, he got hit with an antipode and an explosion from his own friend. Thank you. All right, Molly's about to die. She needs some help. Luca's about to die. Let's see what Braveheart does. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. Good crit there. I really should have done antipo though. So I think an antipo will kill it. And we don't want to take the risk. Good, good, good. 182, 5 tech, 206 gold, a couple level ups. Uh, also, I was told that the experience share, the way it works in this game, is uh, people not in your party get zero TP, which is something we knew. Uh, but people not in your party also only get 80% of experience. So it's not 100% experience. And that means that we definitely will need to switch out our party members when we can. Diablos, Moda, this magic tunnel short is useful. We popped up right to serve trouble. Okay, let's ignore those guys for... Oh my god, I don't want to fight these guys! Why are they still here? Why do they keep popping up after every fight? I'm going to test my theory here. Yeah, so that's the best thing we can do. It basically kills himself. And severely hurts uh, the guy on the left. 
And I think I attacked the guy on the right by mistake. Yep, sure did. That was a mistake. Should have taken out this guy because he's probably the most hurt. I love the music. Even though I keep getting copyright claimed on like this game, like every single video is basically getting claimed uh, for music. But yeah, I'll still play it. Why? Because I care more about having fun and enjoying good stories than I do about making money on YouTube. Which is not something that... If it happens, great. But it's not something that I'm focused on. I just care about, you know, making an enjoyable place that we can all just chill and relax and have some fun playing some good games together. That's all. Wow. I'm telling you, the, uh... Yeah, we, we definitely gonna have to do some grinding. I just feel like we're about seven levels behind where we should be. I know that sounds weird because we just started the game, but that's kind of how it feels. Okay. Let's check out the right before we go down. ignore those guys. Oh, a save point. Okay, good. So what we can do is we can use the save point to uh, shelter. And what we can do is we can go back down to where those Diablos guys are. We can go ahead and ignore these guys as well. Cool. We're probably going to have to fight these guys again, though. Because this guy's blocking it. But, maybe we can get all three of them in the same spot. Set them up for one giant antipode. I don't see the third guy. Is the third guy even in this combat? No, it's not. How about that? Probably got lucky there on that one. Because now we can just take on the henchmen. I mean, he'll do some damage to us, but not a lot. So it's good. I notice we also have 34 MP now. When do we get so much MP? Have we always had that much MP? Or do level ups give you that much uh, difference? Yeah, this magic tunnel sure is useful. Hey, what are you doing here? We're here to kick your butt. <laughs> Venomous? Oh, Bravehearts hit both of them, which is nice. But you're not that hurt. Another new ability that we haven't seen. Oh, that one poisons. That's cool. Unfortunately, now they're way away from each other. These guys are fast. And there's one down. Now we just gotta take out the other one. Man, they are really fast. That was two attacks before I even got a chance to counter. Now granted, this is not the fastest team in the world, but... My experience two tech, we got a shield. Let us see if Kazmir resides in the tunnel system. Okay. Don't know exactly where we're going though. I assume we're supposed to go to the right of the save point. What was that? Find a power tab. Sweet. And an iron helm. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and use a power tab.
I'll go ahead and use the Sunk Glide immediately. I know that kind of goes against my ideology on how to use tabs, but you know what? Don't care. <laughs> because I'm just trying to make everyone as useful as possible. Did we get an Iron Helm? We did. Increased defense by six. Cool. All right, let's wait. Attack now. Okay, perfect. That is perfect placement. And then we'll just do a napalm instead of an antipode. Good, good, good. So what's that old saying? You know, learn how to work smarter, not harder. This is what we're doing here. Wow, 644 damage on the henchman? And then a counter fire spell, huh. So these purple guys are very resistant to uh, fire. But the henchmen do not like fire at all, apparently. Instead of, being, instead of using antipode, I just need to use basic fire. I wonder if the purple ones are weak to ice. I should try it out, but we could probably just easily uh, blitz through these guys. Jeez, so fast. Come on. Uh, I should just cast magic, but it saved me some MP. Plus, we know there's a save point not too far away, you know? No reason to save the MP at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and use some text. Heal up. We can ignore this next fight if we want. Don't think we should. I think we should take it. Because we know these guys aren't that bad. Especially when they hurt themselves. So like the black one you can easily kill. And now we can test to see if this guy's weak to ice. Ah, eh, not really. And he counters the ice spell. It's a really interesting uh, counter ability that he counters all magic with, you know, the same element. Yeah, I'm going ahead and nuking this thing. We got a save point right next door. We can shelter up. We can prepare for the next fight. And we got another level up on Glenn, which should be helpful. All right. Save, absolutely. Let's shelter again. We need to buy some more shelters. Please remember that flightless bird. Need more shelters. Whoa, look at this big guy. Um, I'll let you handle this one, Glenn. Yeah, that's a good idea. What is this guy? Casimir. Oh, this is Casimir. You crashed my abode. Not an easy task, but the fun ends here. Maro, Luca, tis Casimir, our enemy. Ah, indeed, I am Casimir, heir apparent to the Mystic Empire, and the balance of power in this world. What have we here? More knights and the human ideals? Save thy words. The time for talk ended when thou declined peace. Thou wouldst rather sacrifice lives expanding into Xenon. Some sins cannot be forgiven. Perish now. Here we go. All right, basic damage, nothing to be really afraid of. Let's see if we can poison it. If we can poison him, that will make the fight a lot easier. Okay, antipode does not work for some reason. We gotta figure out if it's a fire thing or an ice thing. It's probably a fire thing. 
Let's try it out. Ice. Yep, it's a fire thing. That makes Luca here a huge handicap. Ooh, a fire sword. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, that was neat. I like that. It's like a drop a giant icicle in the ground and you splash and you flood everything with water. Did pretty good damage too. Let's stick with that. And what we'll do is we'll have Luca be our healer slash ether user. Just keep her on standby. Yep, just keep this up. Good, good, good. Luca took a fire spell. That's quite all right. I think I'll have uh, Luca heal Glenn again. Got him. That was experience points, six sec, and allowing her gold and a mega elixir. Glenn leveled up as well. Marl and Luca did too. Heh. <laughs> nice battle. But you're daydreaming again, Glenn. Wake up, and I'll see you next time. Of course, classic RPG-ness. Enemy runs away. He'll be back. Cravens, not again. Huh? What happened? Casimir, the illusionist. I had defeated him many times over. And each time, twas actually a fake. Casimir hides elsewhere, hidden by his illusionary tricks in a lair we have yet to discover. Several days ago, I spent some, sent some vanguard by sea to establish a front on Medina. They should have arrived by now. Let us assist in the search for Casimir. Alright. Where are we? Mystic Den. Okay. Seems to be more land over here. Is this Medina? It's another place here. Medina, yeah. Medina. Hmm. Has this place been ravaged because of the war? Can't get to the triangle. A bunch of people went into that tunnel to the west and have yet to come out. Tunnel to the west. Saw a bunch of people running into the forest to the west. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much left of this town anymore. Everyone is trying to get away. Now, I want to use a shelter. But I'm hoping I can get an inn. Or a town. Or something. But I don't think that's going to happen there. Mystic Tunnel. Do we go back through the Mystic Tunnel and do we go to a shop? Is that what we need to do next? I'm thinking that's probably what we should do next. Um, because we don't have the resources to keep fighting. I'm mean, level 13 now, which is great, but we need more. Okay, I'm going to head back. And this episode is probably going to be really, really short compared to other episodes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to town. I'm going to get some supplies. I may time travel a bit to go back into uh, 1005 AD uh, and set sail to the actual Medina or is it Chorus? Uh, because there's a place where you can play like the gun game. Uh, I may try to get some more money, get some more money, get some more supplies, and then we'll come back here. Or... Before coming back here, I'll travel into 11995 AD. Um, oh, sorry, BC. Uh, do some fights there. Not a whole lot. Just just get us an additional extra uh, TP and more stuff. Um, and then we'll come back 
we'll come back to this area in the next episode. I uh, love you all. Thank you. I uh, love you all so much. Thank you for everything. Uh, once again, my name is Flyspo. This is your blind let's play of Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. Until next time, my friends. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.